It should be noted that every day at the screen rent is National Vampire Day. Given the popularity of the vampire films, it's no wonder that these monsters have a rabid following. But really? How enormous are these fans? Have they seen every vampire film and determined which are the best? There are so many movies out there that it might be difficult to choose just a few. While there are plenty to pick from, we compile a list of the top 10 best vampire movies of all time. But before we start our countdown, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon for all the latest videos. Number 10. Bram Stoker's Dracula Dracula by Bram Stoker may have the most 90s cast ever assembled. The titular character is played by Venona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, Carl Alves, Keanu Reeves, and Gary Oldman. Francis Ford Coppola's rendition of the classic vampire story attempts to be an accurate adult adaptation. The plot revolves around Dracula seeking to attract Mina, a young girl, who bears a striking resemblance to the Countess' long-deceased beloved. This rendition of the story is fantastic because it is unapologetically operatic. All of the actors are excellent in their roles, and the production value is excellent. It's not surprising that it won the Academy Award for Best Costume Design. Number 9. Fright Night, 1985 Fright Night is the movie for everybody who has ever longed to witness a vampire have a good time in a nightclub. This undeniable 80s horror classic follows a teen named Charlie Brewster as he grows suspicious of his next door neighbor being a vampire. Finally, Charlie enlists the assistance of a former horror television star played by the Rowdy McDowell. Despite the fact that the picture has genuine horrors, it's also extremely humorous in its self-awareness. Roddy McDowell's involvement was almost a meta-commentary on his career at the time. Another enjoyable part of this film is its Goonie style take on vampire concept. These characters are high school students reaching to the dangers of frightening vampires in a funny way. There's also a kid named Evil Ad in the movie. If anyone needs another reason to watch it, so that's amusing. Number 8. The Entire Twilight Saga Unless you have been living under a rock for the past 11 years, you're aware of the Twilight narrative. For those unfamiliar with the series, Bella is a girl who can't stop eating her own hair, who falls in love with Edward, a vegetarian wimp only eats deer meat. There's also a werewolf, played by a muscular Taylor Lautner. Every movie, Edward gets to drive Bella around in a new Volvo, making all the wet blankets and forks. Washington jealous the lamb o's. At some point, vampires and werewolves rip each other's heads off. On a more serious note, the Twilight Saga is almost impossible to put down. There is no doubting that these films had a significant cultural impact on the world. Many people may argue that the films made money because they were part of a trend, but there was something more special at the heart of a Twilight. At the heart of the series is really a serious and soapy love story, which gives the entire drama a surprising amount of drive. These characters are just lightly sketched, but they have enough backstories to be distinguished for years to come, the Twilight Saga was responsible for reigning interest in vampires. What other movie can claim to have revived a dying genre with the same radiance as Edward Skin? Number 7. Dracula, 1931 This version of the plot follows the main beats contained in Bram Stoker Dracula and is undeniably the most iconic vampire film ever made. The film's staging is somewhat static by today's standards, but it permanently established how vampires should be depicted in the popular cultures. In addition, Bela Lugosi's performance is one of the all-time great movie monsters. Perhaps the most important feature of the picture is that it reminds weavers that vampires are supposed to be frightening. The film seeks to terrify the spectator with its hauntingly silent sound design. It has no music as a byproduct of its time and black and white photography. Vampires have been open for reinterpretation throughout history, but Dracula reminds us that these creatures are here to take your blood. Number 6. What We Do in the Shadows Many monster movie parodies have been made throughout the years, but few are as innovative as what we do in the shadows. Jermaine Clement and Taika Waititi reconvene in the mockumentary as actors and directors. The plot is brilliant because it revolves around the three vampire friends living with normal life. They go out on dates, clean the house, and pay the rent. Through these ordinary actions, all of the classic vampire cliches are ridiculed. I guess we drink virgin blood because it sounds amazing, says one of the film's best lines. There are plenty of the other memorable scenes throughout the film. The debut of the Rice Derby and Werewolf is a particular highlight, although the film is a comedy. It's also admirable that all of the vampire-related material appears to be truly cool. Number 5. Thirst A handful of the vampire films on this list are based on literature, 
so fans are likely to read the books as well. The great thing about The Thirst is that movie has subtitles, so you can read it while watching it. In the hands of the filmmaker Chan Wook Park, that could have easily been a ridiculous elevator pitch, imagine a priest, who is also a vampire becomes a beautifully sophisticated film. Thematic opportunities abound when telling a vampire story from the perspective of a priest. To mention a few, there is faith, temptation, and savior complexes. Park also used his camera in a variety of imaginative ways to produce a very dark film. The vampire action is strange and fantastic on a more basic level. Furthermore, the film's conclusion will make waivers never look at the shoes the same way again. Thirst may be best described as proof that Korean cinema is in good shape and continues to produce some of the most artistically challenging films of the 21st century. Number 4. Nosferatu The astonishing actual story of the vampire who inspired the Spongebob meme is revealed. It's possible that it's not true, but it's certainly remarkable. Yes, it's another Dracula adaption, but it's also the most well-known and influential film from the silent expressionist style. What's fascinating about Nosferatu is that its imagery appears to have been weaved by almost everyone at some point throughout their lives. The Bugs Bunny teeth, the sharp ears, the broad shoulders we can see how a filmmaker imagined Count Orlack seducing all of the ladies. Despite the fact that the film was released in 1922, Matt Shrek's acting and magnificent set design remain timeless. Sure, the camera stays static, but the Count Orlack's tiny movements turn every scene into a black and white fever dream. Almost every film 101 college course requires students to watch Nosferatu. Anyone who fancies themselves as a vampire fan should see it at least once. Number 3. Energy with a Vampire A vampire named Louis, who looks a lot like Fabio, tells a reporter about his centuries-long life history. The majority of these memories center on his friendship with the last act, the charming vampire lord. The plot works so effectively because it's presented in a series of winnets, making it easily the best Annie Rice and adaptation ever. This allows Lestat and Lewis to develop as personalities while also watching how the world evolves over time. Anarchy with a Vampire is a mature horror film that strives to treat vampires with respect. The extraordinary performances account for half of the reason for its success. Many fans are justifiably drawn by the Christian Dunst performance in the film. But now is Tom Cruise's time to shine. Cruz has a lot of range in this role, and he is free to do whatever he wants with it. With addition, the entire film culminates in a great 90s rock song. Number 2. The Lost Boys The film follows Michael, a rebellious teenager who moves to Santa Clara, a fictionalized version of the Santa Cruz, California, and attempts to fit in. On the boardwalk, he quickly meets the naughtiest gang. Their activities include anything from hanging from the train rails or riding dirt motorcycles in the desert. You hooligans, those things aren't called sand bikes. Oh, and these cool men are vampires as well. Will Michael support the Lost Boys or oppose them? The film is more thrilling than frightening. The Lost Boys, on the other hand, made vampires seem eternally cool. This film is responsible for the entire modern vampire look of expensive clothing and sunglasses. Furthermore, it perfectly captures what makes vampires such a fascinating subject. It doesn't seem so horrible to live forever and glide over the city. Number 1. Let the Right One In let the Right One In is about a 12-year-old boy named Oscar Kier Hatterbrand, who is dealing with some serious bullying at school. Eli, Lena Leanderson, a mysterious girl, lives in the next door to Oscar. Eli is a vampire. In case you don't know, Oscar and Eli eventually find comfort in one another. There's a lot to say about Let the Right One In, but the film's appeal lies in its simplicity more than anything else. The plot simplicity allows the characters to be as complex as they want to be. The film perfectly conveys the sense of isolation that comes with growing up. As a result, the inherent sadness that makes vampires so tragic is revealed. Which vampire film is your personal favorite? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching.